5 a.m. Master Scrum. Please like and subscribe. Share with your friends. You know, this is uh, episode 102, and it's Fortune Cookie Friday. We're going to do the fortune cookie. Uh, level hey, there's a fortune. Ooh, got one. And I'll eat the cookie later, though. I eat so much candy from Halloween. My stomach's just bothering me. So, got the fortune cookie. And let's see what the fortune cookie says. I'll take my glasses off. <laughs> Better be the head of a chicken than the tail of an ox. Okay. I can do this. Better be the head of a chicken than the tail of an ox. The ox is waterfall. Okay. The chicken is a sprint. So you're better to be in the sprint and be able to move and, and see things and dodge. Because I don't want to talk about the other part of the tail. But you can be the head of a chicken, right? And, and find your way and peck your way and get your food and do what you got to do. And um, in a sprint, it's much more um, dynamic and fast and adjusting, right? Where if you're the tail of an ox, and the ox, the big massive ox, is the waterfall project, and you are the testers <laughs> at the end. All that stuff that goes to the, the ox comes down to the tail of the ox, and that's what you get when you do the waterfall part. You test stuff and you are treated like the tail of an ox, right? So that's my correlation to that fortune cookie. And uh, then we get too graphic and what that meant. But with that, remember, we test all the time. Do, 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 do. We peck at it. We test it. We, we feel how it goes. First, long, slow, months and months of development time, planning, analyzing, and then we don't see it until the end of the tail on the ox. And that's what we would end up getting if you get my drift. So with that, thumbs up. Eddie's thumbs up. Have some fun. All right, it's 5 a.m. Master Scrum. We need a lid. Hey, good morning. It's 5 a.m. Master Scrum. Hope everybody's doing well. This is Greg Master, Agile Coach, Scrum Master. And it is 5, 10 a.m. in the morning here on the East Coast. And I was just showing my daughter cut her first pumpkin yesterday for Halloween all by herself. So